Welcome to GDs. And this is, La Brea, Season 1. First Half. Season starts in Los Angeles, with Eve, on his way to drop her kids, Izzy and Josh. It is when a sinkhole opens. They try to get away, but Josh, falls into the sinkhole, while Izzy, is able to grab her mother. But Eve, knowing that the sinkhole may expand at any moment, asks Izzy to go, and she leaves her hand. At the same time, we also get to see Gavin, and we learn, that he wants to get back in the Air Force, and his family relocated to LA a few months back. Gavin, was relieved from the Air Force, after his plane crashed three years ago, and thereafter, he has been having visions and seeing things. And as he was leaving, he sees the sinkhole in the news, and gets a call from her daughter, updating him about Eve and Josh. And he makes his way to her. As he reaches there, they see some ancient birds coming out from the sinkhole. On the other hand, we see Eve waking up, and she remembers falling in the sinkhole, and seeing a bright light, and now, she is in an unknown place. Eve, starts looking for her son Josh, and she drops her wedding ring besides a marked stone. She first finds Ty, a therapist, who is as confused as her, and Eve, seeing smoke, runs towards it. And as she reaches there, she finds a lot of debris, and people who had fallen in the sinkhole. And she was also able to unite with her son Josh. And as all of them interact, no one knows where they are, but all of them remember falling in the sinkhole, and through the light. Not knowing where they are, Sam Velez, a doctor, and a former SEAL, asks the group, that they need to gather supplies before it gets dark. And as they were searching, Riley, Sam's daughter, and Scott, an anthropologist, find drugs in a trunk, and not knowing whom they might belong to, they leave it be. And as the rest of them were searching, they are attacked by wolves. And they kill one of the men. And as they attack Josh, Ty, shoots it down. Though the wolf is down, but the bullet, also injured Josh. Sam, being a doctor, tries to help him out, as Eve, and Riley, look for a first aid kit. Though he is able to give him first aid, but Josh won't survive without antibiotics. And Eve, remembers an ambulance falling in the sinkhole, decides to look for it, and Sam joins her, and he asks his daughter, to take care of Josh, while he is gone. As they start looking, they find Ty, who is about to end his life, and Eve stops him. Ty, getting to know that they are looking for an ambulance, informs them, that he knows where it is, and he agrees to help them to find it. And they are able to find the ambulance, and get the necessary supplies. But before they could leave, they are attacked by Silver Tooth Tiger. Ty, is able to shoot it down, but it turns out, that there are more, and they hide in order to survive. Meanwhile in the city, Gavin has a vision, and this time, he sees his wife and son, and he tries to inquire more from Dr. Nathan, who is in charge to look for survivors. Dr. Nathan, is joined by Agent Adam, as they try to send a drone through the light, in order to figure out where it leads, but the drone loses signal, and is lost in the light. While Gavin has a vision of it, and as they come out, Gavin, informs them that he saw the tail number of the drone, and it is at the same place where his family is, and they need to rescue them. But not knowing how he knows this, they dismiss him. Gavin, is convinced that he saw his wife's ring fall near a rock with a handprint, and he wants to look for it. And we learn, that he has been having visions of this place since his accident three years back. Izzy, wants him to stop, and accept that his family is gone, but Gavin, goes to find it anyways. Izzy, along with his aunt, tracks him down, and they find him digging near the rock, and as they were about to leave, Gavin, finds the ring that Eve was wearing in the morning. Gavin thinks, that their family, somehow ended up in the past, and to prove his theory, he wants to get the ring carbon dated. And before the ring could be tested, he learns, that the ring was stolen. And he is taken by the agents, to meet with Dr. Nathan, and Agent Adam. And they let him know, that the ring is with them, and they got it carbon dated, and it is from 10,000 BC. Dr. Nathan, getting to know, that he started having visions of the place, since the day his plane crashed, informs him, that on the same day, 20 miles away from his location, another portal opened in the Mojave Desert, and she thinks it might have something to do with his visions. Dr. Nathan, now knowing that there are survivors, and where they might be, can send a plane on a rescue mission. And they have been developing a special plane for this. Back in the clearing, Mary Beth fires a flare in the sky, in hopes of getting some help, and we find, that they are being watched by someone. While Eve, along with Sam and Ty, thinking the danger is over, comes out from hiding, but they were wrong, and are attacked again. Sam, falls off a cliff, 
and as the silver tooth was about to attack Eve and Ty, he falls in a hunting trap, making them realize that they are not alone. Eve and Ty go looking for Sam and are able to find him. Sam being injured, asks Eve to leave him behind, but Eve refuses and they take him with them. Back at clearing, we find out that Mary Beth is a police officer and is looking for someone. She approaches a couple trying to fix a Jeep in order to know if they have seen someone with a green jacket. And getting to know that they saw nothing, she then asks the girls, whose father was attacked by the wolves, if they know something. Veronica lets her know that they saw nothing, and she tells her that her younger sister Lily cannot speak. Veronica asks Mary Beth to watch over her sister as she wants to bury her father. And as she goes looking for her father, she asks Scott to help her look as he knows about the animals. They were able to find his father, but he was in a center of a hand, made by stones. Meanwhile Sam, is slowing them down, and tells Eve to go to his son, and Ty assures her, that he will get Sam back. Eve reaches back in time and gives Josh the antibiotics. Riley, learning that she left her father behind, is quite angry with her. While Ty, is getting tired carrying Sam. And at that time, a man in a green jacket approaches them, and helps them get back. And he is Lucas, Mary Beth's son, and we find out, that they don't get along. The next day, with food being limited, they decide to ration, and as they were distributing, a giant sloth eats all their food. Seeing the sloth, Scott, lets the group know, that he thinks they are in LA, but in 10,000 BC. Lucas, doesn't want to believe him, and decides that he will search for answers. Mary Beth, joins him in his search. And we learn, that he hates her mother, as she shot his father, even though, Mary Beth tries to tell him the truth, he is not interested in her explanations. But for now, they try to work together to find answers. Meanwhile Sam, lost feeling in his legs, and he wants Riley to drag fluid out of his spine, else he won't be able to walk again. And for doing this, they need some kind of sedative. Scott, brings the drugs they found in the trunk. And Riley, though afraid, is able to perform the surgery and saves her dad. While Eve, along with Ty, are building a trap to catch rabbits, but they are attacked by a bear, and they take shelter in a cave, as it collapses. Lucas and Mary Beth, were also in the cave, and with the front collapsed, they look for another way out. And as they come out from the other end, Eve, finds mushrooms, which they can have, thereby ending their immediate need for food. Eve, also connects with Ty, and in being a therapist, tries to help Eve, overcome her guilt. And we learn, that Izzy lost her leg a few years back in an accident, as Eve was running late, and she asked her neighbor to pick her up when the accident happened. Eve feels guilty, as she was late not because of her work, but because she was having an affair. Ty also opens up to her, and lets her know, that he has a terminal brain tumor, and having no purpose, he was about to end his life, before they fell in the sinkhole, and he now feels different, and gives his gun to Eve. Back in LA, Dr. Nathan, is getting things in order, to send the plane for a rescue mission. Gavin, not being allowed to fly, requests Dr. Nathan, to call Captain Levi Delgado for the mission. And we learn, that he is Gavin's friend, and one of the pilots whom they were considering. And in a flashback, we see that he left for Berlin, few years back, after Izzy's accident. And Gavin, was then struggling to come to terms with his visions. And as he was getting ready to fly, Gavin, was able to figure out, that he had an affair with Eve. And Levi, apologizes to him, letting him know, that this is why he left. But before he leaves, Gavin, wants him to give Eve her ring. And as he goes down in the sinkhole, the plane loses its connection with the command center. At the clearing, Scott, lets Riley and Josh know, that he buried the drugs, as he thinks, that no one is looking for them. It is when we learn, that the drugs, belong to Lucas. The group, also sees a plane entering through the light, but it crashes. And in the morning they decided to head towards it. And on their way, they are able to find Levi, who ejected from the plane, and he was happy seeing them. He lets them know, that one of his engines failed as he entered, but the plane might still work. And as they reach the plane, they find out, that one of its engine compressors is not working, and without it, they won't be able to fly, and Levi, doesn't have the spare parts to build it. And as they were about to leave, Levi, sees a signal coming from a few miles away. And he thinks, that the place from where the signal is coming, might be able to help them. And they decided to camp for the night, before they head towards the signal in the morning. Back at the clearing, Lily, having a fight with Veronica, 
runs in the woods, and she finds a body of one of the settlers. Hearing her scream, everyone gathers around. Ty, Sam, and Mary Beth, start to investigate. Sam was able to determine, that he was electrocuted, and Lily might be the only one with answers. While Eve, lets Levi know, that she missed him, and she left Gavin, few weeks back, as she was not able to depend on him. It is when he lets her know, that it is because of Gavin he is here, and his visions are real, and of this place. He also gives Eve her ring back, and informs her, that Gavin, knows about them. Eve, knowing this, feels quite guilty, about not trusting her husband. Lucas, also learns from Riley, that Scott gave her the drugs, to help out with her father's surgery, and Lucas, now knows that Scott has his drugs. And in the morning, as they were following the signal, they reach a settlement, and seeing its structures, Scott was amazed, as nothing of this kind was known to exist in 10,000 BC. While at the settlement, Ty, wanted to learn from Lily, what she saw, and as Veronica tries to take her away, she lets him know, that she saw an old man near the dead body, and he had a hand imprint on his back. And he was surprised, learning that Lily could speak. In addition, we see an old man with a hand imprint, watching them. And in LA, they feel an earthquake, while Gavin goes to Dr. Nathan, to find out more. And he sees his file with his information, along with information about other sinkholes. He learns from Agent Adam, that the explosion in the sinkhole, caused the earthquake this morning, and that they can't risk another rescue attempt. Gavin informs him, that Levi is still alive. But Agent Adam, lets him know, that they cannot risk another earthquake hitting LA. And Dr. Nathan left, as she took the blame for the failure of the mission. Gavin returns, but he took the file from Dr. Nathan's office, and they search for Dr. Rebecca, whom Gavin found in the files, as she was also a part of the research team looking into Mojave Desert sinkhole. Getting her details, they go to her, and find out, that Dr. Nathan was already there. And they inform him, that three years back, in the Mojave Desert incident, a team was sent through the light, but before they could return, the light closed. And since then, Dr. Rebecca, has been preparing for another sinkhole, and she has a plane ready to fly. In addition, she knows why the previous plane failed, and thus she has made the required adjustments in the plane, and therefore, she knows that it will not fail. And Gavin, will be able to save his family, if he agrees to fly. Gavin, lets them know, that they will be shot down if they try to enter without permission. But Dr. Nathan, assures him, that she will get the radars down, and we learn, that she also has her fiancé back there, as she was a part of the team that went in three years back. And that's why she is helping them out. And she returns back to LA, to get things in order. On the other hand, Eve, along with others, goes in the settlement, to find the source of the signal, and with the settlement being empty, they look around. Eve and Levi, find a hut with a handprint, and inside it, they find a man, who seems to have died by electrocution, and Levi finds a radio on him, and this is what was sending the signals. And he tells Eve, that he also had another mission, to look for survivors for the mission, which were sent here three years ago. While Lucas, on learning that Scott forgot where he buried his drugs, is quite upset, and as he threatens Scott, they are attacked by the natives, and Scott is quite surprised on learning, that they know English. And they tie up both of them. With the rest of the settlers also returning, all of them try to get away, as they are attacked by them. Eve, and Levi, are helped by a young boy named Isaiah, and he tells them, that his grandfather considers sky people to be a threat. But Isaiah, trusting them, guides them to an exit, and we learn, that the old man who has been watching them is his grandfather, and his name is Silas. Lucas and Scott, are also able to break free, and join them. And as they were about to get away, they are caught. But the leader of the tribe, allows them to leave. And they finally make their way back to the clearing. Ty, working with Lily to open up, was finally able to make her trust him, and he learns from her, that Veronica is not really her sister, and she was kidnapped, and they have been keeping her locked up. And Veronica, on learning, that Lily told the truth, runs away. While Eve, feeling guilty, writes a letter to Gavin, hoping that he finds it one day, and she lets him know, that she is sorry for not believing him, and hopes that they could get more time, to work things out, and she knows, that he will do everything to help them out. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.